Hello and welcome, my name is Ansu. If you're new here, consider subscribing down below. Today, lo and behold, we have another book haul. I have a couple of different book hauls that I wanted to do, so I'm going to split this into two because I have a full used sale book haul and I also have a full, actually full paid books book haul. So I'm going to talk about both of them today, but let's just get right into it because I don't want to waste a lot of time. I got some books from Indigo, which is the Barnes and Noble of Canada, and also some books from Book Outlet, which I'll talk about once I get to it. We're interrupting this regularly scheduled program for Ana Luisa. If you haven't heard about Ana Luisa so far, I would be extremely shocked. Let's talk about them really quickly. I have been using Ana Luisa's products for the past couple of years at this point, and I've loved every single one of their pieces. Today, they have sent me a few pieces to try on and show off to you guys because they have a sale coming up but their jewelry is pretty high quality in my opinion i've worn them quite a bit and so i thought i would chat with you guys about it three pieces that i got this one i'm wearing right now is the paris twisted hoop earrings in the color gold and the size medium this is a perfect size it is a great everyday kind of an earring i've worn this since i've gotten this like two weeks ago i've worn it every single day and honestly i absolutely adore it it just kind of elevates whatever look you're going for and it looks so so professional as well so i absolutely adore it on that note i got a ring that this is the rope ring and I think it looks fantastic. This is a size 6 that I've gotten here. It also matches with the earring set that I got. The final piece that I got was the Hannah bracelet. If you didn't know, this is also created by a clockwork reader who's a booktuber on YouTube. Um, and this is such a dainty little bracelet. I've had my eyes on this for so long and I didn't know if I was going to love it. but. I got it and honestly it's so dainty, so pretty and it just falls so nicely that I really really enjoy it. So these are the pieces that I personally got this time around. I have talked about a lot of their different pieces in my previous videos where I've partnered with them before. I will leave it all linked down below if you're curious to see how they look on me personally. Um, but they're fantastic. I've used them for a couple of years. I personally really really enjoy them. That's why I keep partnering with these guys. I would highly recommend it. If you guys are interested during this Christmas time, they have sale going on for up to 30% off their website. I'll have my link down below if you're interested in purchasing them and just getting a little extra discount for yourself to get some great quality items. I would highly recommend it to you guys. So definitely check them out. Okay going back again to my book haul. Just don't judge me too much but anyway the first one I got was The Holiday Swap by Maggie Knox. This book I've heard quite a bit about especially during like the Christmas time and I really want to read some more Christmassy books I have just not gotten to a lot. And this is supposed to be where two sisters kind of switch positions or something like that. I think this book sounds adorable and I think I'll really enjoy it. But I really want to get to this around the Christmas time, like November, December time. So this is something that I'm very excited about. And I just got this book because I was excited for it. And the next few books I got were by Catherine Center. And that is Hello Stranger. It falls around this woman who had like a decently perfect life. Everything was going well. And then she gets into an accident and gets this condition called face blindness where she sees people but she can't really understand their figure and distinguish their faces essentially and I think she might fall in love a little later and it might be cute. Next one I got was Things You Save in a Fire also by Catherine Center which basically falls around this lady firefighter just because of a shortage of people on the team they're not very thrilled to have a woman really because they think it wouldn't help them at all and it's just dealing with that there might be romance involved in here as well. Then I also got uh, The Bodyguard by Catherine Center. Um, I've heard really good things about this author recently and I just wanted to see what the hype was about. Uh, the story itself, like the synopsis of each of the stories sound adorable so I think I'll really enjoy it so I was like why not, I'll try to read them. This one I think the woman is the bodyguard, it seems like it at least from the synopsis and the guy is like a ultra famous dude and um, they're protecting each other. So I got three of these Catherine Center books which I'm really excited to get to and I'm so glad I got these. As I mentioned, I was getting books from Book Outlet. This is the first time though that I had so many stickers on these books and I peeled them off. But this is still like a sticky residue, which is really annoying to me. I've never had that problem before, but since the book out of the store closed, I feel like this is when, when they got a lot more books on hand for some reason. They have a lot of stickers on these books now and it's really annoying. So next up I got Reggie and Delilah's You're Falling by Elise Bryant. I have two other books by the same author, so I was curious to also get this one. This one follows around these two characters who are stark opposites, but they keep running into each other's paths every single holiday season. So New York, New York, New Year's Day, Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day. So they just keep running into each other. And even though they don't have anything in common, it's like the universe is pushing them against each other. I think it's supposed to be very cute. And I'm pretty sure it's also a YA. 
I'm curious to see like how much I'll enjoy this one because YA romances, they're kind of adorable. So I'd really like to know what they would be. The next one I got is Vespertine by Margaret Rogerson. This one I heard wonderful things about from Mel from Mel Leeds. And I was very curious to see what I would think about this one as well. This is the same author, I think, who wrote that Enchantment of Ravens book. Yeah, An Enchantment of Ravens and Sorcerer of Thorns. A Sorcerer of Thorns, I had read like a little bit of. I think I read a lot more than half the book. I don't think I ended up finishing that book. Entertaining enough for me to actually see if I would like this one. So I'm curious to see. We're following around this nun who um, is in the job to basically do the last rituals of dead people by like cleansing them and everything. What happens is there are some possessed souls that are invading the convent and she's going to stop them I guess? I don't know. It sounds interesting and I'd like to actually see what this one offers. I'm curious. I really am. <laughs> Next up I got Love on the Brain by Allie Hazelwood. Two really smart people falling in love. That's pretty much all I got. But <laughs> Allie Hazelwood is a very popular romance author and I've never really read anything that she has put out so I'm very very interested to see what this book is about. But I got The House Made by Freda McFadden. I've heard so many great things about this. Essentially it's uh, about this live-in housemaid. Things are going just terribly. She's staying in this room where it only locks from the outside which is creepy in itself right and it just goes from there. I've heard such great things about this book and I really am looking forward to it just to see how messed up this is. I would love to know. Um, but yeah, this is definitely something that I'm looking forward to. Next up, I got Maggie Moves On by Lucy Score. I've, I think I've heard about this author and I picked up a couple of books by her right recently and I don't know why. Honestly, I have no clue why I picked them up. It has a YouTube star woman falling in love with some guy and um, I think it's going to be entertaining. So we'll see. There's also a dog involved. So I'm pretty sure I'll be very happy with it. The next couple of books I got were the first two books of the Kingdom of the Wicked series, I think, by Carrie Manus Galco. I got Kingdom of the Wicked and Kingdom of the Cursed. From what I gather, we're falling around like wrath and demons and stuff. So I, I really don't know what to expect, but I've heard wonderful things about it and I was like, yes, I might really enjoy this. Let me pick it up. And I did. I totally did. I'm waiting for the paperback version of the third book as well because otherwise it doesn't finish the set, you know? I think there's more books in that series, but I'm curious to know. I've read um i think it was stalking jack the ripper like the first book in that series and i fairly enjoyed it but i didn't finish the entire series so i'm definitely looking forward to this one to see like how this one goes down the next one i got was every summer after by carly fortune this author also heard really wonderful things about and emily henry has written a rating debut on this book as well so i'm very curious it really says six summers to fall in love one moment to fall apart a weekend to get it right and i feel like it's just like a love lost coming together kind of a situation and I'm, i think i would really enjoy it it's most likely going to break my heart as well in between but also mend it right up because they have to fix it right and i'm just very excited to see how this one will go down another book that i got was anatomy a love story by dana schwartz i've heard a few people talk about and honestly look at the cover it's honestly so beautiful a heart but also there's a woman inside here so it's like a dress as well it's so cool from what i understand is we have this woman in the olden days and she's technically not supposed to learn about medicine she does not get chosen to go and learn in a college or whatever. She ends up working with someone and digging up like corpses to work on and learn about body parts and stuff. And um, it's very interesting. I think there's like a romance as well. And I am very, very intrigued by synopsis of the story. Oh, that is beautiful. That is fucking beautiful. Um, yeah, I'm just very intrigued by the synopsis of the story and I would really love to know like what happens. It's, it is a duology and I'm just very excited to get to this one. Next up, I actually got a book which I think will be in a vlog. Um, essentially, it was like a mystery book that I got from Chapters or Indigo. Um, this one is A Tap on the Window by Lyndon Barclay. I got it for like four bucks. And literally, I think it's a, like a mystery with a detective who falls around this private investigator whose life is kind of uprooted and he ends up helping some little girl um, who is trying to like hitchhike and things go completely south from there for him and it sounds really interesting and Lyndon Barkley is a Canadian author. I have read a couple of his books and I'm very curious to know what this one is about. Did he sign this? It looks like a signature, right? I, I think so. Yeah, I didn't realize that but I'm intrigued to know what this book is about. Um, it was only four bucks so I'm happy. I also got Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. I have started reading this book on audio and I was getting pretty entertained by it. It's honestly just a young adult kind of nonsense type of a book. There's no uh, rhyme or reason to people loving this really. It's not the greatest work of art but it is super entertaining. At least a few chapters that I ended up reading I had such a grand time reading it 
and the map in here is just so so intricate i really enjoy the map in here it has dragons in the story we're following around our main character i'm pretty sure she has like a physical illness to her so she's finding it really difficult to go into this world of fighting and violence and stuff but she's there anyway and uh, there's dragons involved i'm really excited about this book but also another main character in this book is named Zayden and that just kind of bothers me. Anyway, the next few more books that I got, I'm close to the end. I got The Christmas Fix by Lucy Score. This one, again, just because it said Christmas and I just needed a couple of Christmas reads, I grabbed this one. Again, I'm not too sure if the author is a great. I've never tried any books by this author, but whatever. I'm going to give it a shot anyway. This one follows around like a reality TV star and renovation expert and also a single dad and their romance situation. And I'm very, very intrigued by it. But honestly, I just picked this up because it was fairly new and also it said Christmas on it. That's it. No other reason. The next book that I got was The Seven Year Slip by Ashley Poston. This one I heard so many wonderful things about, especially this author and this particular book as well. Um, you just have to have that sense of anything is possible. Essentially, in this one particular apartment, something happens and there's a seven years difference that happens and we're in like a completely different timeline. It's a time jump. I think this is going to be very entertaining, but I'm very interested in this book. Um, I've heard lovely, lovely things about it. The last two books I'm technically still reading. And I say weeding with quotations because I have to physically pick it up and I'm just not doing it. The first one is The Fragile Threads of Power by V.E. Schwab. This is kind of set in the same world as The Darker Shade of Magic, which I really, really enjoyed that series so, so much. But it's also been so long since I've read it and I don't really remember it all too much. So I'm not getting too, too into this book, unfortunately, but I did pick this one up. I'm very excited about it. And the last one that I got was Sword Catcher by Cassandra Clare. This is an adult fantasy debut by this author. I think I've read almost everything that Cassandra Clare has written and this is not going to be an exception. I think I'm close to like a hundred page mark and we're still really building the world and what's happening in it. I think because of that it's a little slow and also I have to keep in mind this is an adult fantasy which is already most of the time it's pretty slow. That's a little annoying but I'm still enjoying uh, reading it so it, it might happen soon. We'll see honestly. I have no idea. But those are all the books that I got from Book Outlet and Chapters or Indigo and <laughs> It's a lot, but I'm very excited about every single one of them. But that's it. I should stop rambling. I'm tired and just book. I give up. Honestly, at this point, I'm tired. And just a quick reminder to check out Ana Luisa. I have my link down below, so definitely check it out. During this holiday season, I think you guys will really enjoy it. If you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Ansu. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified every single time I upload a new video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all next time with another one. Until then, I'll talk to you in the comments. Bye!